Hey everyone, this is Caitlin. And this is Lacey. And this is Women in the Trailer Industry. Today we're going to talk about toxic workplaces and is it reality or is it perception? So the first thing here is... Um, toxic workplaces, the word's been thrown around yeah. a lot in society. And so it makes you always kind of wonder, are you doing the right thing? Do you have a toxic workplace? You know, and you're constantly going back and forth between these thoughts on trying to create one that's not toxic. Yeah. But then as you get into that kind of quest, I guess you could call it, you, you find out a few things and it's like, is it really toxic mm -hmm. or is someone's situation making them believe it is? And so um, I guess the first thing I want to hit on there is a group of people can create a toxic workplace. Yes. Um, one of the things we learned was pairing, gossiping, you know, stop the negative talk about everybody yeah. um, when they're not in your presence. I mean, if they are in your presence, great, but let's, let's work toward productive conversation mm -hmm. Um, we always have to check ourselves on this, but that together as a group creates less of a Absolutely. toxic workplace yeah. because when I think toxic, that's what I think about. Like people who aren't uplifting, people who aren't encouraging and constantly trying to be better. Mm -hmm. I don't even think about all the other mess. So yeah. um, that speaks a lot to me because I'm like someone else's perception of toxic is not at all what I yeah. deem as toxic, right? Um, so do you have any other thoughts on that? Yeah. Um, so truly I do think that it is like a group of people that could create this environment. And, and so when I think about that though, we talk about like not pairing and we address the situation, don't, don't gossip. And, but really what do you want as a company? So what do you want as your teammates? Do you want people that want to just cut you down all the time or you know you're going to make this decision and you're going to do it and then when you walk out of the room, they're going to all talk about behind your back, mm -hmm. you know? But really, what do you, like, what lifts, what lifts you up personally? For me, it is knowing that I have contributed something and knowing that I, and trying, you know, we're, we're nobody's perfect, but trying not to be that person who is, who I don't want to be. And that mm -hmm. is, talking behind somebody's back or, and doing it in a negative fashion. So, so I try to think about that. Like, what do I want for myself? Mm -hmm. Uh, do I want people talking about me? No. So why am I going to be talking about other yeah. people? Um, and so I just think about that. And I, I think when you don't have that kind of uh, situation, then you have a lot more happier people in your workplace. But also when you have a bunch of people pairing and talking bad, um, about other people, all of a sudden there becomes this sense of like, we can make the rules now. Yeah. And, and you kind of forget um, just that you are employed by this company yeah. and that you do have a job to do. Mm -hmm. And so it, it kind of skews, it skew, especially if it's a room. So if it's a room of people and they're with each other every day and there's this negative energy and this negative feeling, then all of a sudden it's like the rules don't really matter. The processes yeah. don't really matter. And then you go back to square one of like building for growth instead of, cutting down and condemning. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think for me, uh, my number one thing is, is to listen to my team. What are they talking about? And yeah. to try to listen, not that I'm trying to eavesdrop, but to try to listen when they don't know I'm listening because they'll be more candid. So that, yeah. so I'll know like, okay, so this is how they truly feel. And us as leaders, I feel like that's hardest, but we are the ones, it falls on us to identify this. Yeah. And then it falls on us to fix it. Yeah. So how do you even go about doing that? You yeah. know? So and with some people, it may be hard just because some people like to make jokes. And yeah. honestly, I would always been told I don't have a sense of humor, but <laughs> some jokes just aren't funny. Yeah. Like I, as society in a whole, I'm not just here at this organization, but um, it's become a norm to like, make jokes about other people mm -hmm. and it be, I guess that's how people are socially connected, but it's like, why? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I probably don't speak a lot, um, except to those maybe I feel most comfortable, but, um, it's like some jokes aren't funny. Yeah. I even heard some this morning. I'm like, 
why does HR keep being yeah. brought into everything? Like, do y'all want HR right you up for everything? Like, why is this a joke? Like, Seriously. Why do you keep saying these things? And so I kind of digress, but, um, you know, the, those types of situations actually do make a toxic mm-hmm. workplace. And so. Yeah. And is, is the joke truly lighthearted and everybody take it as a joke or is it a, a, like a, a slight? Slug. Yeah. Is it yeah. a slight against somebody that everybody's laughing at and that person may be laughing along, but really they're like, what, wow, yeah. what the heck, you yeah. know, like, but so, I mean, identifying that kind of stuff and really what, what you said at the very beginning is squashing it. Like tell everybody we're not a pairing company. We're not going to sit and talk yeah. and gossip. And, and we, we all know by the time that that one story gets to the fifth person, it's completely different. It doesn't even make any sense anymore. Yeah. And you're like, what? Like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> what is that even me? Like I, that wasn't at all what the context was or anything like that. And so you, there's no way to telephone it all the way through the company and it get to the end and it be the same yeah. and it not be hurtful. And, and so you have to think about that when yeah. you start it, you know? Yeah. And then I, um, you know, moving on from the people and just yeah. the societal norm. Um, I think another thing that I see commonly in society is that um, we call something a toxic workplace when work is being demanded of us mm-hmm. and we we maybe feel like we can't reach the bar. So then we create this. This would be the perception side, but we mm-hmm. create this like our reality, mm-hmm. basically, um, that it is bad for us. It's not serving us and all that. And maybe it's not. And so maybe you need to go find the place that is. Right. But um, I think as a society, as we are demanding work, um, in the way we do now, but as work is required of us, um, we start to feel like it is more and more toxic. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's just kind of one thing I noticed. Yeah. And I would say to that, like really get to the root. Um, if, if that's how you're feeling, but more so if one person is saying, and that's their perception is that this is a toxic workplace, ask the questions and get to the root of what, where's that coming from? Because mm-hmm. that could be coming from a lot of different things, especially what you just said, like a workload, um, not just workload, but work is being demanded of us. Maybe we don't feel, maybe that feeling is just that we aren't enough. Mm-hmm. And so that becomes just the, just what we talk about is toxic. Yeah, that's what we, what we place the, the blame on is a toxic workplace, but really that's not the root of it at all. Mm-hmm. And really it could just be solved or, maybe this company just isn't for you, you know, and, and if, if that's truly how you feel, it's a great place that we live in U S mm-hmm. of a, where we have the freedom to go find something else to do and, mm-hmm. and some somewhere else that we might love to work and prosper. So mm-hmm. I just think that, you know, communicating first of all, and then also getting to the root of if it's just coming from one person, why is it that you think that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And definitely context. So, you know, TikTok is all the rage and, yeah. You know, I see things, um, even past employees from here where they're like, we don't want a pizza party and we want to raise. And I'm like, okay, well, there's your five cent raise yeah. because that pizza it's, party cost nothing. And it was trying to add value to your work life. Yeah. But keep rolling and just work with the fade. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, so, you know, trying to add value to the work life and, and trying to do things. And I, I think that's those kind of videos and things like that give companies that are actually trying. Mm -hmm. I mean, as humans, we're not always going to get it right. Right. Like we're not, you know, we may have the wrong decision. We may not, you know, and and we're just trying to make a decision and not just mill on it for a hundred days and just do something so we can progress and move forward and have a team and and things like that. Um, So I just think those videos are just like all workplaces aren't bad. Right. You know, um, it, and a lot of it is perception. Mm-hmm. Like, why are these people feeling like this? Yeah. You know, are they not getting paid enough? Are they, are they pairing too much with their, their community, their, their coworkers right. and things like that? Are they feeling lonely if they work remote and yeah. things like that? Yeah. So, um, I definitely know that landscape has changed over the past few years it has. Um, with all the remote workers. So I haven't experienced that, but I can only imagine what our remote workers yes. think. So we're trying to get better on that, but it's definitely interesting. So, I don't think they'd have bad perception besides maybe their workload, but yeah, who knows? <laughs> but in communication on that, on that point of it too is key. I mean, just have some kind of software that you use. We use Slack, but it's, it's a way to keep everybody in the loop per mm-hmm. se. So like the daily conversations are not just happening in people's offices. They're happening on a thread that other people in, 
within those departments can see. So they're kind of, it's one good way of keeping them in the feels of like what's happening day to day. Um, and that's one good thing to use. It wasn't always there. I mean, we always, we'd never, we didn't use that before. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, it's an easy thing to feel lonely, which could lead to toxicity or whatever that looks like for you, but it's coming from something else, but there's other things you can do and resources, but communication, I mean, that's the only way to solve any of yeah. it. And I definitely, you know, on the communication route, um, you can tell, you can tell when someone's not in it. Yeah. Um, and just really finding out what's going on. Um, if there is anything you can yeah. do, maybe it's personal, maybe it's their own private headspace they have to figure out, but, um, just communication in that aspect yeah. and really trying to figure that out. And you know what? It's not a bad thing. If somebody decides that like this, this isn't for them. That's not, yeah. that's not an end, end of the day, end of the world kind of thing, because ultimately what do we want as people? We want to uplift each other. Mm -hmm. And if they want to move on more power to them and, and great. We hope the best for you. And if they want to stay, okay, what is the issue? And let's work through it because mm -hmm. you truly, your heart is here and wants to be in this company. So let's find out what's going on. Yeah. And you know, at the end of the day, work is work. It's right. For me, even it's not always been sunshine and rainbows. Oh, no. Have I had my own thoughts? Yes. Like <laughs> we go in and out and in and out. And then it's so it's really just identifying, you know, is there a solution? Mm -hmm. Do you want out or right. do you want in? Right. Like, what are you building? What it, What are your personal values? What can you live with? What can you not? What can you stand for? What can you not? And really just identifying those. And then you have freedom of choice. Right. You're an adult. Absolutely. <laughs> we. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I read a meme the other day and it was like, um, you thought you were done asking your parents for permission until you had kids, because then that's the only way you get to go out to eat. And yep. I'm like, yes, yes, it is. Yes. Um, but anyways, you have permission to do what you want as an adult and really just identify that. Um, every workspace is going to have its hard times, um, especially if there's growth involved. Mm -hmm. Um, we've all had those here and it's just be a really working sometimes. through those. And also, I mean, us as leaders, if you're leaders of a company and you do identify that it is toxic indeed, um, mm -hmm. then you need to be really proactive of what, what is, what is causing it. And that may be a big change for your company, but you've got to, you got to squash it. So yeah. it's not something that lands you with an entire company of unhappy people because mm -hmm. you don't want that. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's all I have today. That's all, I have that's all you have. Yeah. So, um, at the end of August, we have NATDA coming up. And what is that? North American Trailer Dealer Association. <laughs> <laughs> and we have some super exciting things going on. We have Women in the Trailer Industry Committee this year. So yes. be looking out for some good things for that. We have a networking event. So that's exciting. And some education um, going on. And then um, what else do we have? Um, it is sold out. So um, it's going to be a big crowd. Um, we're excited about that. There is... You did say education, um, mm -hmm. education opportunities, uh, one at full sin will be there, um, doing podcasts. We will be doing podcasts live, um, the whole time. So, um, if you want to be on the podcast, we've said it before, but just reach out to us. Um, let us know. We would love to schedule you in, or if you're there and you see us be like, Hey, can I, can I jump in on this? And so yeah. you, we're absolutely open to that. So just let us know. Yep, absolutely. Well, that's all we have for you today. Um, just remember you create your space that you live in. And yep. then uh, we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.